first of all, do you just want to explain who you are and what your business is and how you came up with the, the big idea? Yeah, my name is Jane Nicole Quintic and I am the inventor and founder of um, a company and a product called Sue Group, um, which is basically um, a new way of fixing things, mending things, um, tweaking, doing home improvement projects. Um, so basically how it works is that when you take it out of the pack, it's a bit like Play-Doh, um, and you can shape it into any shape and the magic part about it is that it will stick to almost any other material and then just by being in the air it will turn into a really nice durable silicone rubber so it's perfect for fixing things like plastics like gadgets um, anything that needs to move like um, cables or shoes or rain jackets things like that and um, and it's really good for I think as well like just replacing missing pieces and making things as well and there's a whole lot of creative sort of uh, applications to it as well of course. So where did this, I mean it's quite a crazy idea really is it, but where did it, where did it come from? So I suppose Sugar is it's a bit of a crazy idea but um, it's also really practical and um, so I started out um, as, a, as an artist, I studied sculpture and then I went into product design because I wanted to do something that would basically, um, you know, have a, basically make life better for people. Um, and long story short, um, came up with this idea of what if you could make fixing fun um, for a new generation? Um, you know, I think we always, as human beings, like we've always been good with our hands, we've always made things, we've always sort of mended things when they needed to be. And in the last few generations, I think we've kind of lost some of those skills. And I feel actually there's more and more people that want to get hands on and want to be able to I think, make their home or their stuff their own, actually. Um, so whether that's about like cooking or decorating um, or fixing things, people want to just kind of get busy with their hands. And Sugaru is part of that, um, I guess, kind of new maker sort of culture. Mm. So, um, when you had decided to came up with this idea, how did you then turn it into an actual trading business? Um, so, like, it's been a long journey making Suru um, real. Um, so, I, as I said, I, I uh, start, started out as a designer, and then I had to move into um, business. And I teamed up with my business partner Roger Ashby, who's an entrepreneur, and together we put together a team of scientists. Um, you know, we had to put together patent lawyers, get investment. Um, it's been a 10 year journey to get it to where it is today. Um, now we've got about a million people using it around the world um, in 160 countries. It's sold um, through a lot of the kind of, you know, shops that you know, like um, Maplin's, b and uh, Black's, Wilco's. It's in, you know, lots of sort of shops where you go every day. Um, and the, that journey has really been a huge kind of learning curve for me. Um, but also, I guess, just really, really interesting because it's about like um, something I feel so passionate about, which is just helping more and more people to get hands on with stuff. Um, so we've overcome lots of challenges um, to get here. And honestly, I still feel like we're at the beginning. <laughs> Because there's so years. much, there's just so much to do, you know. And when I say we've got users in 160 countries, like we we're just expanding now into North America and getting distribution there, which is super super exciting. Um, but again, it's a huge challenge. Um, we work with a lot of product businesses that want to get into the, the, the B and Qs and the Maplins of this world, and it, we we do run events where we try and connect buyers with small businesses. But you know, buyers are notoriously hard to get to. Um, and once you're in one, it's easy to sell. But how did you get into the first? How did you get the first big name to stock your product? Um, so it's definitely a challenge going from being um, uh, an online business to go into retail. But for us, I think like the, the easiest part is actually getting 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 in um, because I think you know Sugar is quite unusual. Um, we're doing something really innovative and really smart in a category that's maybe quite slow moving. So I think you know. You'll, for us, we found that because we're quite different in the category and we're disrupting it and challenging it, we have found it quite easy to get meetings. Um, but that's only the start of the journey. Then you've got to kind of develop all the whole relationship and um, what I suppose that whole marketing and sales mix is that's going to make the product sell and keep selling day in, day out. Um, so 
we love the internet because we can sell directly to our users. We can have this amazing two-way dialogue. I mean, people are always sharing pictures with us of what they do with their Sugar and sharing it on social media and stuff. So I think, in a way, like we've got to have both because ultimately the volume sales will come through to growing our distribution channels. But um, we find the internet is just a really amazing kind of incubator because there you can really kind of test the product, tweak it based on what people are saying, what people are doing with it, um, and make it stronger and stronger so that it can get ready basically for distribution. Um, is word of mouth then, is that, has that been a key sort of driver, yeah. particularly so, when you started? Um, the, I suppose the main way that Sugar has grown um, has been pretty much by word of mouth um, and that's really designed into the product so it's really colourful, it comes in 10 colours and so when somebody uses Sugar say to fix their laptop or like put little bumpers on their phone so it doesn't break when it falls, people notice it and so they'll ask like what's that stuff on your phone or whatever and that really helps because then like you know it's just kind of like organically spreading. The other thing about it is that when you fix something um, or you make something yourself you're generally pretty proud of it so for some reason even if it's like a total bodge people will just be like yes I fixed my fridge and so like they'll just be like whoever comes to, like this sounds absurd but like they, their, their family will come and visit and they'll go like look I fixed this like this is my latest project they're just really proud of themselves so um, that's like you know that's part of how, how it's spread and then of course then like there are a section of those people who will take a picture put on Instagram and you know or Facebook or whatever it is and that'll help us kind of um, you know spread it further and inspire other people they can also fix their kids shoes or whatever it is. And just finally in the classic last question in these interviews what's your advice for, for other small businesses out there? So um, in terms of like um, giving advice, I'm not a big fan of giving other people advice because everyone is like, you know, everyone, everyone's situation is different and you've got to learn all your own, own lessons. But um, for me, I suppose just in terms of like some of the most important lessons that I, I've learned for myself would be like, um, like really do something that you care about, like be passionate about what you're doing because like if you only kind of half, half into what you're doing, you're probably not going to last very long because everything takes ages and everything's way harder than you think so you better better care about it. Um, I suppose something that helps um, with Sugru is that you know it's not just it's not just a business that's set up for commercial reasons it's actually about improving people's lives and making things more fun and making things just a little bit easier for people and I suppose that kind of level of meaning and purpose where it's not just about making money um, makes it something that is you can continually stay motivated and interested by and I think you can attract really great people to work with that as well like we're very mission focused um, about making fixing easy and fun for anyone and a lot of our team feel passionately about that um, so we've, we've, we've got some great people